Welcome everyone, today I'm going to be ranking the Premier League strikers. Sorry I haven't uploaded in a while, I've just been chilling. Good result yesterday for England, I think it, yeah, it was 4-0 against Bulgaria. Harry Kane with a hat-trick, that's brilliant. So, yeah, let's get started in the video, I just thought I'd go off topic quickly. Right, so I'm going to be ranking the Premier League strikers. Sorry, the sun's right me yesterday. So, in my opinion, this is all mine, don't take any offence. And I'll give you more reasons why. In 20th, I'm going to go for Che Adams. Hasn't scored this season. I don't I don't see what Hasselhoofel's got in him, but he must have something because he waited till, till the window to sign him. And he really looks like he wants him to do well, but he just hasn't started well yet. Which is fair enough. I understand some people are slow starts in the Premier League, but um, it's just going to happen. In 19th, now if this was three years ago, I probably would have put him like 10th. I've got when he was at, when he was at Aston Villa, Ben Teke. He is absolutely crap. Worst, one of the worst in the league. Behind Chia, in, just in front of Chia Adams. He is horrendous. Chia Adams needs time, but Ben Teke should be in his prime. He's horrendous. He's got to be, he's got, he's just horrendous. He just doesn't score. He can't score. I just, I honestly don't see why they don't just cash in on him. I know he's had a bad bit of luck, but still, he's not worth it. Often. He's not worth being on a wage, in my opinion. Eighteenth, I've got Calvert Lewin. Right, so here's my opinion on him. He doesn't score prolifically for a team like Everton when they brought in Moise Kian. Um, he doesn't score prolifically. Perfectly. He doesn't score. He never really just. He doesn't help the team that much. He just kind of stands there and feels isolated. To not, you got to unisolate yourself. You got to play. You got to be that smart striker. And I don't think he is that. I really wouldn't want him on my team. I think they should just play Kian. And um, except from that, yeah. There's no else I've got to say. And then in in seventeenth, I've got Neil Mopé, signed from Brentford last season. He's had an okay start. He scored his debut. He can be good. He can, he'll get you twelve, thirteen goals, I think, but not more. He'll help Brighton. I think he'll keep. I think they'll. Stay. Still, what I'm thinking about doing as well, everyone, is a Premier League, a Championship, a League One, League Two prediction, and seeing how that goes down. Okay, so I'm going to be doing, recording them today, all of them today, hopefully, when I find time. It is um, Sunday. Uh, so, yeah, let's go on to the next person. So, I'm now on to Joe Linton. Now, this might be a bit harsh, but I don't think he's, I don't think he's good enough for this league. I think in Newcastle system he doesn't work. Rondon found a way to work. He won't isolate himself. Rondon's a brilliant player. I think he doesn't work well under Bruce. I don't know why. I don't think when I, and I'm going to be ranking the managers as well at one point. But I really don't think he's very good. Sorry, Newcastle fans. Now I'm not, I've got. I know we've got a rivalry with Newcastle, but they need a better striker. In 15th, I've got Troy Deeney. Now, some might say, oh, you put Troy Deeney ahead of Mark Pitt. I mean, um, Joe Lington. He, score, he will score more than him, I think, this season. I don't think Joe Lington's good enough. I really don't. I think Deeney's just... He's, but he works well with Gray. He'll always chip in with that odd header, that odd strike. It's just what he does. Now in 14th, probably he's my favourite player on the list, Billy Sharp, right? Bill E. Sharp. He scored the most goals in all football leagues since the turn of the century the other day. I can't remember which one it was. It was like 250 or something. But in all football leagues, he scores, he shoots the pundits up. Oh, he's a champ. He's a league one striker. He's, he would be one of the best championship strikers. He's an OK Premier League striker. I think he'll get 15 this season. Now, I know that might sound like, no, it won't, but I think he will. I honestly do think he could. 
In 13th, I've got Wesley. Now listen, Dane Smith is a brilliant manager. Wesley is a brilliant striker, I think. I think he's got something. I think he can work well under Dane Smith. And I think he will do good this season. I think he'll come good eventually. It's a new team for Villa. They're going to need time. It's okay, though. In 12th place, I have Tammy Abraham. Now, wait, hold up, right? He scored, like, four already or something like that. But he's not good enough. I don't I don't think he's Chelsea quality. He needs time, honestly. But, you know, they have no choice, so he will come good. He, can't, he will get 20 eventually in a season, I think. Eleventh, I've got Timu Puki. I've said I think he can be the top goal scorer, and if he doesn't, I'm gonna look like an idiot. But compared to the rest, he's not the best striker, but he scores goals. Um, he's a good striker, so yeah. Move. I'm swiftly on in tenth. I have Callum Wilson. Perfectly scores. He had 12 assists last season, joint with Lacazette for like more strikers assists, I think. He brings players into play, he works well, he's a heart, he, he works hard, he's a good striker, and I think he will, I think he is just top 10. In ninth, I've got Ashley Barnes, just gets better and better. Unbelievable striker, not a very good player, kind of thing. But he works hard for the team. He works under Sean Dyche perfect. Sean Dyche is his perfect manager. So, for that, he's in ninth. Now, in eighth, when I found out this transfer, I was very happy. Sebastian Haller, 45 million to West Ham. I think he is a really good striker. He scored perfectly for um, Frankfurt, I want to say, but it might not be. But it was for a Bundesliga club. I think he'll come good. I think he might get like 20, not 20, like 16 this season, 17. Then in seventh, I've got Raul Jimenez. Plays so much football, like plays too much football, but never complains. He works so hard for the team. I just think he's a brilliant striker. And I do think he's a very... Very good, very good striker. In six, I've got Anthony Martial. I know you're saying, oh, Rashford's a striker. Rashford isn't. Rashford's more of a winger. I think Martial should be. In all the other videos on ranking strikers, Martial was put down as a striker. Shout out, shout out to Stumpego. I got this idea off. Nave. Good, good YouTuber. Check her out, definitely. Right. I've got Jimmy Vardy. Best outside top six striker. He will get 21 goals this season, that's my guess. Now, that might sound stupid, but in that system he works. I think he's one of the best in the Premier League. But there's just so many top, top, top strikers in the Premier League. And in fourth, this may, you may not disagree, but I think Harry Kane. People say oh, he should be like higher, but he's not. I don't like his play style. Yeah, he gets goals. Yeah, he'll always get goals, but I don't think he's that good. It just works in Tottenham's system. Like in Man City's system, he wouldn't work. He wouldn't work as well. In Liverpool's system, he definitely wouldn't work. And that's where. And that's where in third, Aubameyang. Now you say, oh, Lacazette plays striker. No, he doesn't. Lacazette shouldn't be playing striker. Aubameyang is the third best. He's the, he's the third best striker in the Premier League, in my opinion. I think he will get you 20 plus goals, guaranteed if you play him where he should be playing. Up in a second for me now. Best, hardest working striker does anything for Liverpool. He works his ass off. He he is the reason why Sal, Sal, um, Salah and Mane get all the goals. Because he works hard. He's still got 50 goals as well already in the Premier League. Now, that's nothing for like a striker in his time. But the thing is, he works so hard for them. And that's why Liverpool is such a good team. Because he's so selfless. 
and obviously in first, the best rating in the Premier League, in my opinion. Abamio, I think he's unbelievable. I do think he's the best rating in the Premier League by a mile. Not Abamio, Aguero, sorry. Aguero. Um, too early in the morning for me. So, Aguero, good striker. Um, consistently gets scores. I think he'll get to second in the season. He said he's leaving. I think he's leaving in 2021, and I think he'll get to second. In the, I think he'll get more goals than Wayne Rooney in the Premier League, but he won't get more than Chira. So, yeah, I think he will break up. I think he will get a lot. He only needs, like, 39 to get to second in the all-time Premier League goal scorers. And I think if he kept playing, he could get to first, but I think he wants to leave in, in two years, so that's fair enough. Alright everyone, and uh, overall I think I've done a good, I think I agree with, agree with that table, pardon me, I think, I think Che Adams is a bit unfair, but you know, he's he's not that good, Um, like I said, we're going to be doing some more videos coming soon, alright, so all my predictions, Premier League Championship, League 1, League 2, never know, you might even get a National League out of us. Alright everyone, thank you for watching, I'll see you next time in a bit.